Notion has recently released recurring templates. While they are not fully recurring tasks, they could be adapted to that specific use case to some degree for simple tasks that do not require complex projects related to them. So in this video, we're going to go through the great CEO template and we're going to apply some recurring templates to it for two use cases. One, for a recurring weekly task template to perform your weekly reflection and planning exercise. And the second use case is going to be to create a new five minute journal page automatically every day for you. So let's dive into the first use case that is in the GTD system. We're going to create a new recurring task weekly for doing the weekly reflection and planning exercise. And so in here, I'm going to go to task and I already have a template set up that it's called do weekly reflection and planning. And I want to make sure that this template shows up in my task list every week. So in here, I'm going to click on the three dots and then repeat, and it's going to do every week. And then for now, for this example, I'm going to choose Friday, that is today, and I'm going to do 2.23 p.m., which means this is going to show up today in one minute. So Friday, every one week, it starts today at 2.23. I'm going to save this. So you see that repeats every week, and the template has this little icon in here. And right now, you will see that in about 30 seconds, this task will show up in my task board. And after one minute, the task actually showed up and I also received a notification because I mentioned myself as direct responsible. But you will see the first limitation of recurring templates. You can't have a due date because this property, when you have a date property, you can't dynamically update it based on the template. Rather, recurring templates right now in Notion work only based on the created time. So that's the date that is going to dictate when the template is going to be created recurrently. Whereas the due date, you can set it fixed if you like, but it can't be changed dynamically by the template. And so that's the first limitation because when you use recurring templates, you need to keep that in mind. Because sometimes, especially if you have views that are driven by the due date, like in here, for example, in your dashboard where you have due this week, be aware that when it comes to using templates, you don't have that dynamic date possibility there. But you do have the created time and you do have the chance to also add the due date fixed in your recurring template, if you like. Now, the second use case that I want to show here is the five minute journal. So normally, before recurring templates in Notion, you would come here every day and create a new page. In the recurring templates era, you don't need to do that anymore. You can make a recurring template, create that page for you on a daily basis. And the way you do that is you go to the template here, and then you're going to go three dots and then repeat. And in this case, we're going to do repeat daily right here. It's going to be every one day. And let's start today. And we're going to start at 2.27 p.m. That is in a, in a few seconds. And so we have this template right here that is going to create a new page for us in about 30 seconds. And here we have it, the new page created. The name is automatically applied in here. And then inside the page, you have the list of questions that compose your five minute journal. In addition to this, you can go one step farther and add a dynamic date to the name of your template. So in here, you might go new great day, and then you can choose at today. Then you can choose here date when duplicated or today. So in this case, you can do date when duplicated so that you have the date also on the title automatically. And every page has a unique name then rather than the same name taken from the template right here. And those are two use cases for recurring templates with their current capabilities in Notion. Recurring templates are very useful for these simple things like tracking habits on a daily basis or tracking your journal on a daily basis or simple chore tasks for your personal life or business. When it comes to more complex recurring tasks, such as having a full project management system in Notion where you have projects and then for each project you have multiple recurring tasks, that becomes too much for the current state of recurring templates in Notion. Potentially, Notion might improve that feature to make it powerful to manage a whole project management system with recurring tasks per project. For now, however, this is what we can do with recurring templates in Notion. The use cases 
and now you can apply them to your own systems within Notion as you like. Thank you for watching and see you soon.